We are now reaching stage two out of three for completely bezel-less phones. And the keyword for 2019 is going to be hole in display. Let's talk about it. Now that we're finishing out the year in 2018, I'm sure you've heard the word notch a whole bunch of times through 2018 and even the end of 2017 because that's when Apple put their first notch on their phone. And I've said that so many times in so many videos. The reason that we keep on having notches in our phone is because all of these phone companies want to keep around the front facing camera, sometimes a speaker, and sometimes just like the iPhone X and 10s, they want to keep around a 3D face unlock technology. With these phone companies wanting to keep around those technologies, which makes sense, who does want to give away their front facing camera or stereo speaker experience or face ID for example on the brand new iPhones many people aren't willing to give that up and the overall market trend is to remove all of your bezels so when once we get to the top of the phone where we have the camera the speaker all we could do is put a little notch and that's it for me personally the connotation of a notch is a good thing it shows that these phone companies are trying to push the display edge to edge and we're not there just yet because we haven't developed the technology to get a camera underneath the display, at least not yet. As of right now, some smartphone manufacturers such as Samsung and Apple have developed some patents for these under display cameras, but we haven't seen anything yet, so it's probably a couple years away from that. So until we get to the day where those patents actually come true, we're gonna have to see different like evolutions of this notch. And now we're gonna see a kind of hole in 2019, at least for Samsung, by the way. Not even talking about this future hole, we've already seen some evolutions in the regular first ever iPhone notch. Yes, the essential phone did it first, but iPhone made it like super popular mass market. The first smartphone with the notch is right here. It's, it was the iPhone X and it had this big, huge cutout. Since then, we've actually actually put mechanical little things. We had a little mechanical front facing camera. If you buy the Oppo Find X or the Vivo Next, you're going to have a motorized front facing camera. So whenever you go to the front facing camera application, it's going to literally pop out and pop back in when you close the app. We have also seen the water drop notches, which could be evidently seen from the OnePlus 6 to the OnePlus 6T because the 6T has a water drop notch. And even though like some phone companies, they have completely removed the front facing camera and instead add a second screen on the back. This evolution of the notch is insane, but this next version is going to be a hole. You are only going to see this type of hole in display technology with these OLED displays, not LCD that's found on the iPhone XR. Apple can't do that with that display, but they can do it with an OLED display. And of course, Samsung makes the best OLED displays. As of right now from the leaks, it's looking like the Samsung S10 is going to roll with that Infinity O type design or just as you could call it which I've been saying the hole in display it looks like it's gonna be that but the weird thing with Samsung is, is that they're not showcasing this infinity O type of design on the Samsung s10 for the very first time no they're bringing this type of technology to a mid-range device called the Samsung a10 my bad this mid-range device isn't called the a10 it's called the Samsung Galaxy a eight from the 2018 version. What I'm saying right now is completely drawn from the leaks, but this phone is supposedly going to be released very soon in six days on December 10th, and it's going to have that Infinity O cutout on the top. The whole display is going to be 6.4 inches. It's going to be an OLED display, so it's the size of the Note 9, and you're actually getting a nice edge-to-edge -edge screen. You're going to have a small chin on the bottom, and it's not curved like the S10 or Note 9. The little cutout for the single front facing camera on the top right is only 6.7 millimeters big and it's I mean it's pretty small but is it intrusive to answer that question it's really going to come down to personal preference but for me personally I've never seen a hole in display but I think I'll prefer the water drop notch over this type of infinity o design but that's just me and I haven't seen it yet so I'm still open to the idea this 2018 Samsung A is going to be rolling with a basic mid-range snapdragon processor the snap 
Snapdragon 710. It's going to have 6 gigabytes of RAM and with that type of processor you can expect a mid-range price of around $450 which is not really going to truly be available in the US of A. On this mid-range phone you're not going to find an in-display fingerprint sensor. It's just going to be regularly on the back and you're also going to find a pretty basic three triple camera setup on the back and don't expect these cameras to be great. They're just going to be eh, about average for a mid-range smartphone. And supposedly while well, nothing's confirmed, well it pretty much is when we're this close to the release date, but this Samsung A8 is still going to keep the headphone jack, which is kind of pretty standard on these mid-range devices. It's funny how the world works where with flagship phones we don't get a headphone jack, but with these mid-range devices costing around $300 we do get a headphone jack. Pretty interesting um, situation there. And while I'm talking about how the Samsung A8 is going to be the first Infinity O cutout phone instead of the Samsung S10, well, it doesn't look like Samsung believes in the A8's camera very much because they just use a DSLR to fake its photos. Samsung very recently tweeted out a tweet containing two DSLR photos saying that it was going to be the Samsung A8's camera. It's like the A8 took this when it actually didn't. These two photos were heavily edited and extracted from one DSLR photo that was uploaded to some website and Samsung stole it from that. Since Samsung was now caught cheating practically, they changed their disclaimer on their website saying this DSLR photo now just evokes the feelings of the smartphone's camera's features. Yeah right, evokes the feeling. Mm -hmm. It is not the first time that we've seen these smartphone companies fake these smartphone photos and I'm sure it's not going to be the last. But let me know your opinions on the Samsung A8 in the comment section below. This has been MWG Tech and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. Have a great day and it's right here.